Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this short video, I'm just going to show you where these governor springs actually sit on this Briggs & Stratton Classic engine here. You can see these springs, these are the correct ones. You need both of these on for your lawnmower to be running correctly. They actually hook into here. There's this little loop that normally connects to the carburetor, which is something I'm going to show you in just a minute. This longer spring here goes into this hole here. You just need to loop these round and put these on there. Then the other end hooks in here. You can see how it all just hooks in there, as long as you get it around this loop. That's exactly where it needs to go, you can see how everything just goes around this loop. This shorter spring, or the smaller spring, goes to this connecting rod here at the top, and just hooks over there. And this linkage here, just needs to hook back in over the top of there as well. Now, that's where they go, if you've lost them, or you're looking to replace them, that's where you would replace them from. But a lot of people watching this video... I'm going to read your mind a little bit because if you're doing this I'm willing to bet that you've got a lawnmower that's either not starting or particularly revving up and down hunting, surging and sort of running for a little bit and then stopping completely if that's the case and you bought the governor springs or are looking to replace the governor springs to eliminate that problem you will find that it won't make any difference and no matter what you do with these springs how much you mess about with these springs it won't stop your lawnmower revving up and down so just bear with me for one more minute and I'm going to show you exactly what the cause of a lawnmower that's revving up and down is but just take note that's where the springs go but whatever you do with these however you want to tie them up or try and bend them or stretch them it won't stop your lawnmower revving up and down so if you've got this type of engine which is a standard Briggs and Stratton engine probably a 35 classic engine it'll have written on it somewhere it will have this kind of set up on the top with the actual petrol tank here and this carburetor, if you've got a lawnmower that's revving up and down, there's an actual little gasket that sits in here, a diaphragm and gasket, and that's what pumps the fuel from this carburetor into the engine and makes it run. And if this gasket's worn out, it's very thin and it kind of vibrates and transfers the fuel through to the engine. If it's got a bubble in it, or it's old, or it just doesn't transfer it properly, you'll have a lawnmower that just revs up and down, hunts, surges, and eventually stalls and dies. So if you find yourself running around your garden trying to get your grass cut before your actual lawnmower packs in, take a look at the top right hand corner of your screen now. I'm going to link you to a really detailed video showing you how to replace this diaphragm and gasket. And these gaskets are actually available at my website, which is Repair lawnmowersforprofit.com there's a link to that website in the top right hand corner and you'll find those there don't buy aftermarket ones, don't go on eBay Safari for these parts, they're about £2 I think, £3 at the most I think, it's not worth spending £300, £400 on a new lawnmower when you can take 5 minutes to change this gasket in here, that video which I've linked to will come up at the end of this video as well and in the video description. So if you're messing about with the governor springs and you wanted to know where they go, that's where they go. But if you're messing about with these governor springs to try and stop your lawnmower revving up and down, you, you simply won't do it. You must replace this diaphragm and gasket in this carburetor. It's really important for me that you subscribe to this channel after watching this video because I'm going to put a playlist at the end of this that relates to all these Briggs and Stratton engines and everything you'll need to know over the next few years if you've just picked up a lawnmower like this for yourselves. So consider subscribing, smash the bell notification, take a look at the website and get yourself the parts. Don't forget, coming up in the end card at the right hand side of your screen, right now you'll see a link to an actual video that shows you how to replace this part and get you up and running again. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.